We're so thankful for pollen. Aren't we? <laughs> yeah. So tonight's going to be just a little bit different. We're going to have a in the round where, and if you guys want to get up and move during each event, feel free to do that. Just don't move. Um, we appreciate it if you move. Um, I, I'm, I, like I said, I'm really glad you guys are here. I'm going to introduce the team real quick. Um, leading worship service tonight is Paul Costco. Hey, everybody. And then we got the lovely Dana Russell. I'm glad you guys are here. I really am. It's going to be a great worship set. Paul's going to be leading us. Um, he's going to have some scriptures and so forth. And we just really want to have an intimate worship time together. So I'm going to turn it over to Paul. Oh, a couple of things. We have drink water bottle water back here and chips and homemade cookies. Um, everything is free. Take whatever you want. Uh, everything we do here is on a donation basis. So we are a certified so we are strictly donations. Um, so if you want something, please take it. There's a bucket back there. It is the rescue bucket. <coughs> it's the second edition rescue bucket. So I put the original in there, and I can't find it. Um, but anyway, there's a rescue bucket on the corner of the table. If you want to drop something in to help us uh, with expenses, that's great. If you can, that's great. If you can't, that's that's what else is good. Um, we do have a website. I'll tell you some more about that. Okay, we, I just want to get into our worship service. I've been so excited about this camera. It's been... <laughs> doors, here's the doors, here's the doors. There's a door back there. I'm supposed to tell you, I'm supposed to do that airplane thing. The fire marshal's not here, so, so we won't worry about it. There is no bathroom in this building. Okay, don't leave. <laughs> there is no funny. bathroom in this building. That was really funny. There's no running water in this building, but we do have electricity. And I met with them, a heating and air company this past week, so hopefully we'll be able to do something about the, the heat and the solar. Cool. Um, if you go out this door and up the alleyway, uh, the first deck that you come to has a red door. That red door goes into another building where the Great Court Offreys House is playing. You'll hear music as soon as you walk in the door. Don't go, oh my gosh, in the wrong place. That is where the bathroom is. This is the first door on your right. The door is pulled together like this, and there's the latch. Please use the latch, or you'll have company. I think that's all the crazy stuff I'm supposed to say. If I forgot something, it's okay. Paul. Oh. Turn it over to you. Thank you. Oh, again. Hey, everybody. As excited as we've been, um, as we've been preparing for tonight, I want to tell you the word that keeps coming to mind. It's it's the word soak. 
right? What do you do with your, your dirty laundry when it smells? You gotta soak it, right? What do you, when you want something really to steep in, you just soak it. And I thought, what if tonight, you know, we just soaked in the word of God and soaked in the truth of the scriptures and soaked in the beauty of some of the m most wonderful hymns that were ever written. And so let's give space for God right now. Um, Psalm 84 begins like this. It says, how, for, oh, I should say this too. You know, in, in the scriptures, it talks about how when we gather together, we're to sing hymns and spiritual songs, right? And we're to read scriptures. So that's what we're going to do all three of those tonight, right? Psalms, hymns, and spiritual sounds. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yes, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even if the sparrow finds a home. Everybody say sparrow. sparrow. Right. And the swallow, say swallow. swallow. Swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts. My king and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. We're going to finish that song later on, but I want to stop there and think about how the psalmist used the word sparrow and swallow. And most scholars think that he talked about sparrows because they were some of the smallest and most insignificant birds. He's saying even the smallest and most insignificant has a place in your house, O oh Lord. And the swallow, if you've ever seen a swallow, that's a bird that, that can't ever sit still. It's completely restless. It's a bird that just flits back and forth. So those who feel small and insignificant, those who are incredibly restless, all are welcome in the house of the Lord tonight. So let's approach that. Know that God has called us here, that God is good. Shout out to 
Well, it says, we were beggars, and now we're royalty. Peter says this, but you are a chosen race. You who may feel insignificant, you who may feel restless. He says, you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of he who called you out of darkness and into, yes, and into his marvelous light. It's his love that does all that for us. Come all you weary, come all you thirsty, come to the well that never runs dry. Drink of the water, come and thirst no more. He brought us from darkness to marvelous light. He brought us from, from death 
and to life, from hopelessness to hope. All that through what Jesus did for us.
you how Jesus first got a hold of your heart. Think about how you're different now. Think about what life might have been like had you never met him. Think about all the things that he saved you from.
Blessed are those whose strength is in you, and whose heart are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of Baca, the valley of weeping. Anyone ever gone through a valley of weeping? They make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. This psalm is a pilgrimage. The Hebrews would recite it as they're going to Jerusalem. There's many places where maybe they thought they weren't going to make it, right? What a metaphorical journey that we're on too, right? Sometimes life can feel so hard. We're like, how am I going to make it? How am I going to get to where God wants? He reminds himself the truth. I heard it said we need to preach to ourselves more than we need to listen to ourselves, right? He says, I go from strength to strength. Even though I go through the valley of weeping, right? I know who my strength is.
centuries have sung these hymns. And does that mean that we join that chorus? Does God hear all of that at the same time? Like, think of like, I don't know, Isaac Watts, right? Singing these songs and we're like joining in God's ears. Like, such a beautiful thing. So we're going to do another hymn.
prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold our shield, O God. Look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. What does it mean to be a doorkeeper? Right? You got either one of two jobs. You're either helping people come in or you're keeping people out, right? Is he a bouncer? I could never be a bouncer. I'm too much of a twig. So I, when you think about being the doorkeeper in the house of God, how can we invite people in? How can we make it easier for people to come in? And tell God's goodness. <laughs>
Amazing grace, how sweet the sound.